we're almost to our dance. Be sure to get those backstage passes turned in by Friday so you are part of the fun. We have free general admission that starts at 6.30 if you'd like to join us then. We're going to have loads of fun stuff to do at the dance, and we're even going to have these cool guitars there available for purchase. So make sure you're ready to rock. See you then. Good morning, Raymond Temple Eagles. It's Tuesday, February 14th. Showing some love. 2023. Here are your morning announcements. Get your Deaf Awareness Week t-shirt tomorrow after school. DHH are selling DAW t-shirts in front of the school to raise money for a field trip, books, and other needs. The artwork was created by an artist who is deaf. Prizes are youth $15, adult $20. Read 10 books. Fill out your reading log, turn it in, turn it in, and get a squishmallow. Easy peasy. Head over to the Buena Park Library, go to the children's desk, ask for a reading log for the winter reading challenge, check out some books if you want, and start your journey. Squishville awaits you. Reading logs are due February 28th. That's the last day of February. Sick, have a fever, a high temperature? If your answer is yes to any of those questions, please stay home. Love, Mrs. Passy. Current events. Today is Valentine's Day. Some scholars give Valentine's Grant. No grams. That's okay. You, you can fill buckets. Smile and be kind. As an RT Eagle and, and community member, we can choose to bring joy to those around us. And yes, those scholars giving grants should be practicing kindness, filling buckets, and showing empathy as well. Happy Valentine's Day, RT. Happy Valentine's Day. Hello, Raymond Temple Scholars. I have a very special announcement. Um, I have two of your very own Raymond Temple Scholars here with me today. Roman, who is a sixth grader, and Amelia Rose, who is a fifth grader. And we are here to celebrate a very special award that they received. You are looking at the Buena Park Youth of the Year Boys and Girls Club recipient. What a great honor that these two have received, Roman and Amelia Rose. We wanted to bring them on morning announcements just so you guys can see their faces. If you see them out there, make sure you tell them congratulations, good job. I'm just gonna to explain to you a little bit about their award and what they received. It says Roman and Amelia Rose were awarded Youth of the Year from the Boys and Girls Club in Buena Park. They were given the award because these two students epitomize the ideal of the organization and show leadership at the Boys and Girls Club. So Roman, how does it feel being a recipient of this award? How do you feel? I was pretty surprised because um, I've been at the Boys and Girls Club for six years and this is my first week of the month and year. Awesome, so six years, since he was six years old, he has been um, attending the Boys and Girls Club, so what a big award. And Amelia Rose, what about you? How did you feel when they announced your name? I felt surprised because um, last year when I got Youth of the Month, I did, uh, someone else got it. So I was very surprised that yeah. I got it. Awesome. So it wasn't expected, is that correct? Awesome. So scholars, 
I have a feeling that if these two are leaders at Boys and Girls Club, they are probably leaders here at Raymond Temple School as well. So look out for them. I'm sure that they can give you a helping hand if you want to know what it looks like to soar and be safe, outstanding, accountable, and respectful. Um, these are scholars that you can definitely look up to. I have uh, a and question. I think Mr. Jimmy has a question. Yeah. Didn't you receive these really cool jackets that look like Letterman jackets? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you want to talk about those briefly? Describe mm -hmm. them, the colors, and are they thick? Are they soft? Are they... So it sounds like you guys got something other than just verbal praise. You actually got an award in the form of a really cool jacket. Do you want to talk about that, Roman? Uh, the jacket, I would say, um, it's not just like any jewelry. There's like a very big pocket from here to like your waist. I would say it's really cool. Sounds like a pretty expensive jacket. What about yours, Amelia Rose? Does yours look the same? Mm -hmm. Yeah, does it have anything on it, like embroidery, like your names or anything? Uh, it it said your last name and then yeah. Yeah, you got it. Where where does it say that, Amelia Rose, on, on your jacket? On the back. So on the back it has your last name and the year. And only the recipients get this type of jacket. Very cool, awesome. So if you go to Boys and Girls Club, maybe it might be you next year who's sitting where these scholars are. Again, we want to say congratulations. And scholars, make sure you tell them congratulations as well when you see them out and around campus. Congratulations again, guys. Bye. What's for lunch? Today for lunch, the Archie Kitchen is serving beef and cheese lasagna. Mmm, sounds good. Remember to soar. Every day, everywhere, with everyone. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. That's all from your Raymond Temple Student Council. Have a great week, Archie. Bye! Please welcome, on behalf of the NAD, ASL Performer and Academy Award winner, Troy Kotzer. To honor America with the performance of the National Anthem, eight-time Grammy Award winner, Chris Stapleton.
Pray.